In this video, you're going to learn about some different ways that you can use voice typing to drastically increase your productivity. I'm Jimmy from JimmyRose.me and Content Snare. And if you'd like to learn more ways to you know, call back some time in your business or life, just hit that red subscribe button below. Now I'm going to assume that you're typing quite a lot. I mean, most of us are uh, throughout the day and that means it's a pretty massive opportunity to uh, increase your productivity around this. Sure, you can learn how to type faster. That's something I'm a big advocate of as well. Uh, but voice typing is another really uh, effective way to make basically make this process faster, right? Typing. Uh, just about every device has some kind of way of um, dictating now. And they're surprisingly accurate. I've been using Androids for a long time um, and Google's services have just recently started using Windows, uh, but I'm going to cover how you can do this on iPhone and Mac as well. One random side note, I feel like among entrepreneurs and business owners lately, there's been this trend towards sending voice messages to people, particularly over like Facebook Messenger. Um, personally, I really don't like this. It's not respectful of the receiver's time. Um, maybe these people don't care, but uh, I, I just find like if, if I'm in a place where I can't listen to that message, then I've got to remember to go back in and do it later and I can't just get it done there. Like if I'm, you know, for example, I'm waiting for the physio or something, you know, I can't uh, listen to that. And I, I find myself in those kind of positions all the time. And it actually takes longer to listen because generally like when someone records the voice message, they're not really thinking about everything they're going to say. So they um and are, ah, and it becomes a really long thing. I, I just find it kind of a little bit disrespectful. Um, so I think voice typing is a really good medium uh, ground here, mid ground where you can still get the productivity benefit of talking to your phone, but it turns it into text so they can read it quickly and read it in their own time. Um, so that's why I'm a big fan of voice typing other than it just making my life a bit faster and easier. So here's a few ways uh, you can use voice typing in your life. And most of these support punctuation as well. So when you're typing, you might say, Hey, what are you doing today? Question mark. Uh, or full stop, you know, uh, so you can actually dictate punctuation in there as well. Um, let's start with Android. I've been using this one the longest and really, uh, depending on what keyboard you're using. Uh, so this is Swift key on the left with a very strange example uh, that I found on a screenshot on the internet. Um, but yeah, you just hold this little icon down here, the microphone, hold it for about uh, a second and it kicks off voice typing and it's um, super accurate. And if you're on the basic uh, Google keyboard, it's this little icon here. Both of them work pretty well in the fact that you can click on certain words that it's unsure about and replace them. Just make sure you do speak clearly. Um, and if you travel a lot, uh, go to different countries, I found it tends to default to the accent of the country that you are uh, uh, visiting. And I noticed this once when I was in America and the accuracy went really, really down for me. And I started speaking with an American accent just for a joke and it picked it up. Um, so then I realized there's actually a uh, default language setting uh, for Google typing. So you can set that um, to you know Australian if you're Australian like me or whatever. If you're in the US, I'm assuming it's probably going to default um, to that anyway, uh, but just check it out. Next, let's look at iPhone. And yes, I had to Google it because I am not an Apple user, but it does seem that you guys have the exact same thing going on down here. Ah, uh, yeah, I see there's a microphone icon that you can use to dictate. I don't know of the accuracy because I haven't actually tested it myself, but um, I know it's at least an option on iPhone. Now on Windows, uh, I've been using a couple of different options uh, until recently when I discovered it's actually built in as well. Um, so if you're using Chrome, even on a Mac, um, you might be able to use this voice in voice typing and I believe it uses uh, Google's engine. I'm not actually sure, um, but this is a Chrome extension that you'll be able to see up here. You click it um, and it activates. You can use that then in basically any website you're browsing, um, which is quite handy. For example, like in your project management systems, whatever, as long as it's cloud-based, you'll be able to use it. Um, now also with uh, Google Docs, if I open a Google Doc using the shortcut docs.new, if you didn't know about that, it's a cool little trick. <laughs> um, you can actually go to tools, uh, voice typing here as well. And this is using the Google voice engine, as you can see here, and it's pretty bloody accurate. Cool, yeah? Um, so that's really good for voice typing in uh, uh, Google Docs. 
Now there's actually another system uh, built into Windows and uh, this is pretty handy because then it's system wide, right? Like with Google Docs, you've got to be in Google Docs. With voice in typing, you have to be in uh, in the browser itself. But like, let's say you are in using your company chat or something like that. Obviously none of those op other options are gonna work, but you can press Windows key H. Just wondering what you will be working on today, question mark. So now that's working in my company chat. So you can see that is a bloody good option for Windows. Again, that was pressing Windows key and H together. And it turns out there is an equivalent option on Mac. Again, uh, I had to Google that and you can see the uh, help article here, which I will link up. But um, basically you just press the, um, you might have to go through a process to turn it on, um, depending, but you just press the uh, function key twice. So it says press the dictation keyboard shortcut or edit start dictation. Uh, the That shortcut for you is just pressing function twice. So yeah, um, there are a few different ways you can use voice typing across all your different devices, no matter what platform you're on. I think it's a really uh, great help for productivity. I've been using this on my Android for a long time, just walking around, particularly on a phone, because that's where you're gonna type the slowest rather than using a keyboard. So yeah, check out those systems. I will uh, link up or put a list of them all below this video. Uh, again, if you are looking to increase your productivity, uh, I often share different like cool automation ideas, uh, productivity process, all that kind of stuff. I'm all about being more efficient with your time. If you'd like to learn uh, a few occasional tips, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button below and I'll see you in the next video.